Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Miss Tamika. I upload videos once a week, which is Sunday, and then I also throw in a bonus video throughout the week. And with that being said, you guys, I have a um update video on my Casey, my coach Casey, uh, that I purchased back in March. Uh I uh, I did do an unboxing and normally I usually follow up with a what fits in my bag, how it looks on a body. So that's what you're going to get here today. So if you want to see all of that, then please keep watching. So like I mentioned, I purchased this, you know, like I said, back in March. And of course, I wasn't able to really fully wear it yet because, of course, you know, we've been in the house for the past few uh, weeks now. So it's still in this original packaging. So here in this video, I'm going to take all of this off and I'm going to go ahead and fill it up and show you how it, you know, looks on my body and how uh, what type of things I would carry in it. So if I didn't mention, it did come from the um, coach outlet and I did get a good price on this bag. Uh, I think these bags retail for three something and I got it for a hundred and something Y'all know I love a good sale like that's my name Miss Tamika aka good sale Always on the website because a lot of stuff that I'll be looking at that's like brand new even with makeup I try not to buy as soon as it come out because if you sit back and be patient a lot of that stuff goes on sale Because they have to make room, you know for new things. So that's why I just sit back. Even though sometimes watching people videos, I'd be like, oh my God, I want it now. I want it now. But I can wait. Like I want one of those, uh, what are those bags called that everybody was talking about? Um, I'll try and leave it across the screen. But um, it came with a dust bag. I didn't even know because like I said, I didn't fully unwrap the whole entire bag. If you can hear rain i'm by the window so you may hear rain outside because it is raining today you guys so that's why i pulled myself together to film this beautiful video and you guys this color here is so beautiful let me see if i can get the actual name of the color um it's called beechwood and i could not believe the price like i was just like oh my goodness because even with the blue bag the blue casey I think that was two something and this one was the cheapest like I said for one um, it, I, I think when I purchased it it was 160 or 170 which was still a good price but then a couple of days later it went on sale for 140 something and since it was in the time frame of me purchasing it I was able to get a price adjustment so I was excited about that so what I'm gonna do is I have some bag charms that I want to show you how how it will look on this particular bag as well I have my teddy bear and then I also have my um, puffs so let's see let's see how this works I'm trying to put the strap on the side see yeah like I said the retail Price for these bags run 350 and they are worth the 350 but like I said knowing that coach eventually will put these bags on sale is in my opinion best to wait to you know wait until you can catch it on sale now if I knew coach never went on sale then I would pay 350 uh, for this particular bag but like I said before coach is always having sales I guess like I said to make room for new things so here is the inside it's like this uh, cranberry color. It's really, really beautiful, you guys, against this beechwood. And then you have a inside pocket. You have a back pocket. You have a flap here. And then you also have a pocket here in the front. And then you also have a pocket here. Now, this back pocket is probably where I would carry my cell phone. I would carry my cell phone because it'll be easy for me to grab it when I need it instead of having to open the lock and unlock the lock and all of that. So, so I have my Louis Vuitton. Matter of fact, I need to get the long shop because I have a lot of stuff in there as well. So let me go grab that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my backpack 
it's a little different here you guys because at my old house i had my big old white table and i had room to put things i got this big old computer here as my monitor so just bear with me so let me go ahead and pull out some things that i will carry in this bag so you know i would definitely need my keys and i usually use this is all I carry most of the time is my keys. Sometimes I don't even carry a bag. But yeah, I have my keys. And I would definitely need my Blatterazzi. And I probably would put this here in this little pouch here. And let's see. Let me just take everything out so it can be a lot easier. Okay, so I took everything, so I took everything out that I would carry in my bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and start filling the bag up. So here I have my uh, straws. I'm gonna place that here all the way in the back. Well, if it can fit. Okay, so that is in the back area. And then of course, let me see. I wanted to carry this here. This is what I uh, carry to as a wallet. So I'm going to see if that can fit. Okay, so if I carry that coach pouch, I won't be able to carry the keys. So that would be the only thing. So I probably will have to downsize this out. Let me see. Um, cause let me see if I can put it in this front pocket. Okay, so I'm going to try and put it here in the front pocket. And then I have my Bath and Body Works um, hand sanitizer. I'm going to put that where the Blotterazzi is. Uh, I'm going to grab a mirror. I'm going to go ahead and put my keys back in that big pocket part. And then I'm going to carry my two lip products. And that's Time 4 and Fenty. So, so everything was able to fit. Now let's see if it's able to close. Okay, so it's able to close, but as you can see, it's bulging out just a little bit. So I'm not sure how I would feel about that because, you know, I don't want to stretch out the bag more than it has to be stretched out. With all of that being in there, let me see. I could probably carry my cell phone in the back, but I would probably have to... I would probably have to take it out as out the pouch because I had this here on on I had this cell phone case on here because it makes it a lot easier to hold to take pictures and you know things like that. So I probably would take that off and just slide it here in the back. So everything is inside of the bag. Now I am going to do a few model shots. So so here is the bag crossbody. And I'm not sure how I would carry this bag because I don't like the way it fit, how it's laying, probably because of this thing here in the front. Let me see if I go ahead and take that out. So with me taking it out, it fits a lot better as a crossbody. I probably would have to, if I do decide to carry this bag, I would have to figure something out with this. Either I'm going to carry um, this as my wallet or the... Uh, car keys as you can see it fits really nice to the body without that pouch inside the front of the bag so so now I can fit I don't know let's just say I want to throw my glasses in here I can fit my glasses in here I don't know let me see okay I can fit the glasses but again it's bulging just a little bit but not as much as the uh, coach pouch but most likely I probably will play with the stuff here in the front in the back area to be able to carry my glasses and then if I want to take the glasses out and just carry uh, the mirror I can do so so carrying this bag you can't carry a lot but you can it's just the way you place it inside of the bag 
And for the sake of the video, I just threw some things in there so y'all can get an idea how it will look with stuff in here. So like I said, I will carry my cell phone in the back because it's easy to grab and go. And then also, also carry it uh, by the, you can also carry it by the strap, by this handle here if you, you know, prefer to carry it like that. So let's just say you want to carry it by the handle. You can carry, you, you really can't put your whole arm in here to like carry as a crook of the arm bag like a speedy but you can carry it like this i am going to place some of my uh bad charms on here just so y'all can see how it would look of course we know the teddy bear is going to look really cute against the gold i don't know if this is brass because as you can see it's a different shade of gold so here is my Cute old, here's my little teddy bear. And I did get this from Coach, if you're wondering. I had got this sometime last year. So here is that on the bag. So here's the teddy bear on the bag. And then if you didn't want to carry the teddy bear and you wanted to carry one of the puffs, I have this here. I forgot where I got this one, you guys. I forgot where I got this one from because I had it so long but let's just say you want to carry this one on your bag so that one is cute as well like this is really cute i'm not sure people carry like puffs on their bags anymore because i remember at one point in time they were like really really popular but i don't normally follow the trend if it's in or out if i like it i'll wear it <laughs> if you get what i'm saying then this one here is my last bag accessory now this one is the silver hardware so that one looks cute this one here looks better in my opinion but this one still still looks cute but i would probably prefer to wear this one or the teddy bear Let's see so this is the bag and if i didn't mention the back this front of the bag has like a suede type of material it's not leather i don't know how this will hold up with collecting dirt marks and things like that because it's not the pebble leather that's here on the top of the bag and the rest of the bag and so if i didn't mention here is your lock here and then you have oh i forgot to mention the straps you do have some adjustable straps whereas though you can make it short or long where you can also carry it as a shoulder bag not sure if I would carry this as a shoulder bag. Like I said, this probably would be more so a crossbody bag for me because I am short. But if you did want to carry it as a shoulder bag, you can make it short or long. So that's another option for you if you do decide to want to carry this particular bag. And so here I'm going to show you really quick what I have inside of the bag. And like I said, I probably would play with the stuff in here. I just did this for the sake of the video. But here in the back, I have my um, straws. And I probably could carry this here in the back. No. Okay, see. Yeah, it's too big with that pouch. Oh, so yeah, this bag is not pouch friendly unless I take the keys out. And then also with all these little flowers on there, uh, tea roses, that's probably making it even worse with bulging out. So I'm going to go ahead and put that to the side. I didn't put nothing here in this little zipper pocket. Normally what I put in there is like business cards, um, sometimes change and stuff like that. Because I ain't even open it because here you have your coach uh, little card in the back. So... This bag do hold a lot, but not bulky stuff, if you get what I'm saying. Like, it will hold your essentials, like your, um, it probably can hold a makeup bag, like a small uh, makeup bag, like one of those uh, Ipsy bags. Like you like used to get those little small Ipsy pouches, um, I'm sure they can fit in here. Like, if you put, like, your little essentials, like maybe your lip gloss, um, lipstick that you wear in that particular day when you apply your makeup and a little touch up things it could probably fit in here you know like inside of one of them small makeup bags now you can't bring your whole makeup kit and put it in here but y'all get what i'm saying so 
so yeah uh this casey here is here to stay in my collection like i said i got it for a great price i haven't been on the coach outlet website because i have put a little pause on purchasing bags now because of the fact that i have a few bags that i haven't worn worn as of yet and i don't want to buy a whole bunch of bags if you get what i'm saying and not be able to use them i don't want to hoarder a lot of brand new bags so i rather save my money and just wait because there's really nothing that i'm looking for as of right now as far as coach only thing i may look into is maybe like one of them bag accessories because i've been looking for the one with the little tea roses all over them to see if i can insert a picture uh, of what i'm talking about but if not i was looking for a really cute um bag accessory uh, just for my other bags, not just coach, but all my other bags. So, yeah, and then if I didn't mention, the bottom doesn't have any uh, feet. And what else I wanted to say about this bag? So, yeah, um, this here is beautiful. I don't know how this color will work for us. Like, I don't know. Uh, with this light color will I have to worry about anything like I said I didn't pay full price for the bag so if it do show a little wear or anything like that I'm fine with that because like I said the bag is 350 and I paid 140 something after taxes and the color is beautiful you guys like this beechwood is really really beautiful really beautiful so if you are in the market for a new coach bag like a coach Casey you may want to stalk the website. I haven't been on the website looking for this particular bag, so I'm not sure uh, if they do still have this available on the Coach Outlet website. But if they do, just make sure you you know you get it for a good price. So I like think that's all I wanted to share uh, on this particular bag. I got all this mess here to clean up, but like I said, let me go ahead and put this back on here. Like I said, I like this here bag charm on the bag because it just looks so pretty. Like that white looks really, really nice. And this hair bag is really cute. Like, I like this bag. I really do. As I do now, I kind of enjoy like a everyday type of rugged type of bag. That's why I've been liking my um, uh, backpacks because this hair to me is a little fancy not fancy fancy but y'all get what i'm saying like you know something cute i mean you can dress this up like you know throwing a pair of jeans uh some sandals and wear this as a crossbody bag but this here i wouldn't want to wear like on an everyday basis i would prefer to wear my backpacks and then use this like if i'm going to the mall or you know like down Lenox Mall or Atlantic Station or something like that you can wear this as an everyday bag you know, it don't have to be, you don't have to be dressed up to wear this bag. But just to me, it looks like a fancier type of bag. Like I wouldn't want to throw this around like I throw around my uh, backpacks. Like I throw that bag in the back of my car, um, in the front seat. Like that bag goes everywhere, thrown everywhere. So this here is a more, okay, baby, you sit still. Don't you move. And don't get dirty. Like, this is that type of bag, if you get what I'm saying. Like, yo, when y'all in the house, as long as I've been, you start talking to your bags and stuff. And so, this is my new baby. And I just wanted to share what fits in a bag and how it looks on my body. And if you have a Coach Casey in this particular color, let me know down below if it eventually shows um, color transfer or anything like that. Because, like I said, the back of the bag is... Uh, fairly light and also you guys please don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like these types of videos and also don't forget to click on that subscribe button and that notification bell so y'all can be notified each week when your girl uploads videos and until next time i will talk to you guys later and oh before you go let me know down below how you like in my um, background like do you like this should i take the tree out or what like just let me know what y'all think about my new background so with that being said i will talk to you guys later bye